Now, before solving your first problem, make sure that you are logged into the site or if you don't have an account, just click on sign up and make an account. And once you have done that, come back to login and log in user using your username and password. So I'll log in into the site. Once you have logged in like I just did, I'll hover over practice and click on easy. Once I've reached the page, I'll go, I'll scroll a little down and I'll click on successful submissions. This will show me the problem with the most successful submissions first. So life, the universe and everything is the problem with the most successful submissions. We'll be taking up this problem as our first problem to be solved on CodeChef. And remember that most first timers start by solving solving this problem as their first problem on CodeChef. So I'll click on life, the universe and everything. Note down the URL of the problem. It is codechef.com slash problems slash test. This is what a problem page typically looks like. You have the name of the problem. You can view all submissions, your submissions and you can submit. Then you have the statement of the problem and you have the sample input and the sample output. So let me simplify the problem for you. You will need to input from the console and output the same to the to the console until you encounter the number 42. Like here in this example, 1, 2, 88, 42, 99 were the input. The output were only 1, 2, 88. So you'll take the input from the console and output it back to the console until you read 42 from the input console. So let us sub submit this problem by clicking on the submit button. So I have reached the submit your solution page for the problem life, the universe and everything. Let us see what are the different components of this page. Here I have this editor where I can write my code. Then uh, if you want to write your code in your favorite editor in your local machine and then submit, then you can just choose a file and select the file and probably can just select the file and upload it. But for now I'll be using the editor to write the code then uh, just choose your language before you write the code so for us it will be C++ and uh, there is this toggle button also toggle editor button if you uncheck it you get this plain editor without any formatting options but if you check it you get all the formatting options and you can choose your language also the formatting for which language do you need I'll be choosing CPP so let's get started Let's write the code. So let us quickly see what I did here. Uh, I included the header files iostream.h and conio.h then I wrote void main then I cleared the screen then basically I took input from the console until I encountered the number 42 and while I until I encountered the number 42 while I did an input I also output the same number to the console and uh, so this is our program in C++ and let us try and submit it and see that if we are able to successfully submit the problem or not. So oops, I think we got a compile time error. Now we have to go back to the problem and see why did we get a compile time error. Also we can just click here and see what kind of compile time error did we get. So I'll just click here and see what kind of error did I get and uh, so okay this is something big so one of the lines it is saying is this file includes at least one deprecated header okay we'll come to that and we'll resolve that 
and it says that please consider using one of the 32 headers found in the section this of C++ standard so this means maybe we are not using some of the headers which are a part of the standard compiler which is used by the online judge and uh, then main must return int okay our main was void so we will resolve that too and uh, CLR SCR was not declared in scope and get was not declared in scope get ch was not declared in scope so I think we will resolve each and every error and uh, let us go back and see so we'll go to our solution we'll just copy it we'll click on the problem life the universe and everything and let me click on submit once again submit the solution to the problem okay we have again reached the submit a solution page for our problem life the universe and everything I'll just paste the code which I copied so one of the things that you need to understand is that CodeChef online judge uses the GCC compiler of coach of C++ this is also the standard C++ compiler while you have written this code in Turbo C++ compiler so that is the reason why this code which is written in Turbo C++ is not running on CodeChef or not giving you the correct answer so you can read about the GCC compiler and differences with the Turbo C++ compiler later on for now let's do some quick fixes for the compile time error which we get, which we got and let us try to modify our code and submit it so we don't get a compile time error again so one of the lines in the compile time error was that iostream.h and conio.h are not a part of the standard C++ library note that this is one of the difference between turbo C++ and GCC that iostream.h and conio.h are the header files of turbo c++ but not of gcc so we'll delete conio.h and instead of iostream.h iostream is the header file which you need to use and since we have deleted conio.h we should delete clr scr because they were using the header file conio.h and get ch so and another line of error if you remember which we saw was that the main should return something it should be int main so let us change it to int main and let us add the line return one also note that again if you remember the lines from the error you must have read see out and see in are not defined in the scope so you need to use the standard namespace for that we'll add the line using namespace standard std now this namespace standard contains all the functions classes and objects of the standard C++ library and see out and see in are a part of that that's why we need to include this statement to escape from the compile time error now that we have written the code let us try submitting our problem okay so the compile time error is gone but now we have runtime error and uh, we need to resolve the runtime error now so let us go to our submissions and see what kind of runtime error it is So if you will hover over the runtime error it will show you that it is NZEC runtime error NZEC stands for non-zero exit code so let us go back to our code and see why we are getting this particular error I'll just copy the code here go to the problem page and click on submit again and the first thing I'll do is I'll select the language again C++ and then I'll paste the code now 
see that we are getting the NZ er, NZEC error because the online judge at CodeChef expects every submission program to exit with a zero exit code. But we are returning one at the exit. So let's just change it to zero and see that if that can resolve the NZEC runtime error or not. And let us try and submitting the problem. Now we are getting a wrong answer. So so now there are no errors. Now there is no compile time error. Now there is no runtime error, but there is a wrong answer. So let me go back to my code and see why I'm getting a wrong answer. So to find out why we are getting a wrong answer right now, let us go to the problem page once again. So we have reached our problem page. Let us see the input and output. So as we already talked about the simplification of the problem, we are taking input from the console and outputting it that to the console until we encounter the number 42. And note that each output is on a separate line. So I think that's the mistake that we made. Let us try and submit the problem and see if actually that was the mistake that we made or not. So I'll select the language C++, then I'll paste the code which I wrote and uh, I'll just add a new line character after my C out and I'll just copy this and I'll submit my code on CodeChef. So let us see that if this solves our problem or not. Great. So we have received a correct answer. And every time you get a correct answer, just share with everyone on Facebook and inspire more people from your friend list to come on CodeChef and Code. And if you have any doubts or any problem which, are, which you are not able to solve, you can always connect with us and mail us at help at coachchef.com and you can always go to our Facebook page also. Thank you for watching this video.